All right, so I had already done an iridescent material tutorial, but it really wasn't a material. It was more of a, a, an environment texture that I used to get that um, iridescent material look. Um, and, you know, I had a subscriber actually said that it's not a material, LOL. So I actually want to show you guys how to do the actual material. And it should look something like this. Alright, so that being said, let's jump into the tutorial really quick. It should be super straight forward and easy. We're going to delete the defaults. We're going to go to um, scalable vector graphics. We're going to go to and find my uh, cost logo and uh, double click on that. We should have it right here. Scale by eight um, RX 90 to bring it up like so. Uh, grab X, bring it in the middle right there. Right click and um, right click and we're gonna go and set origin to geometry and um what we also want to do is control j to unite them all together and um let's do that actually one more time set origin to geometry so it spins right on the metal even though we're not going to do any animations but it'll be set up for that already uh we could go to the object data properties and you want to bring down the uh, geometry tab and um you want to extrude it um so if you go to the side view you should be able to um get more of a visual of how thick the logo actually is so i think that works for me and um you want to bring down the uh, bevel tab and you want to bring the depth maybe by 0 0.002 and you'll get something like this right so now that we have that really quick you want to make sure you go to the render uh, uh viewport and you want to go to the render properties make sure you're on ev turn on ambient occlusion bloom screen space and motion blur really quick and so now that we have these things, you want to go to the uh, shading tab. And now we're actually going to all go and work on the uh, material. Also, another thing on the world properties, you want to go to uh, the color and turn it all the way to white. We want to have a white color. And I think this will look and work better for me. And so now that we have this, let's actually work on the uh, material. So you click on new and uh, we're going to call it iridescent, right? And so... Now that we have this, all you got to do is super easy and simple. You just got to bring in the um, the uh, uh, hue and saturation uh, value and plug that into the uh, base color. And then you want to go and add a, of course, color ramp. It'll help you with the uh, grading or gradients, I should say. And um, you want to, from RGB, you want to select that into HSL and then near to far. And you want to go and shift A and add a, um, a uh, layer weight. And then with the layer weight, you're going to go and uh, connect the facing to the fact. And um, you have something like this, right? So th this could work with um, any color you you'll use. So right here, you're, you have some black and white gradients. But you could now where the, where the actual iridescent material comes in is if you click on the, on the black um, color and bring this all the way to white and make it purple, you'll get something like this. Now, keep in mind, again, you could play with these colors. But if you want a full rainbow uh, looking color, you want to go and and turn this one into um purple also and um you'll get this cool iridescent material thing going on and not only that but you could play with the hues and you have um you have you have a different look either it i mean even though it's a rainbow but if you want to have the f the face the the front of it to um be in a sp in a specific color by holding shift and and clicking and dragging you'll get something like this right another thing that you could do is if you go to layout and um, you change the viewport into the um, the shader editor, right? And you bring your timeline up and um, you click on, you make this into the hue, I set it to uh, zero and I click on it to insert a frame. Let's say we're only gonna have, we're gonna end at 50 frames. Um, you wanna go to that last frame, which would be 50. And um, you wanna bring this all the way up to one and I click to insert another frame. And so now when you change the shader editor to back to the 3D viewport, you'll get an animation of the hue just like this. So that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to drop a like down below. Go to my website if you wanna get yourself a nice, cost, comfortable, super comfortable hoodie. Um, and uh, yeah, go follow my social medias. I'm out guys, have a great day.